We want to find the slope of a tangent line, but first, we need a game plan. A game plan. One, we're going to find the slope of these parametric equations at a specific point, and then we're going to find a point. Because what do we need? We need a point and a slope in order to find the equation of a tangent line. With that point and that slope, we're going to put it into point slope or y equals mx plus b. So first we see the functions in question. x is governed by t and y is governed by t. Here we see they're parametrically. So then x is 1 plus 4t minus t squared. y is 1 plus 3t to the third. So I heard. We have a game plan. First we're going to find the slope. And then we're going to do that right here. Step one. One. We need to find dy dx. What's next? That's dy dt divided by dx dt. So we need to find dy dt. Ooh, is that too high? Mm, a little bit. That's dy dt. All right, now, here we are. We need to find the derivative of this guy with respect to t. So here we see that this is going to be 3t squared. Oh, boy. And then I need to find the derivative of this guy. And that appears to be a 4 minus 2t. Oh, boy. Now that we have found that slope, we need to go and evaluate it at the t value. But what I neglected to write is that t is equal to 1. Fun. Nice numbers. Now, we're trying to find the equation of a tangent line for this parametric function when t is equal to 1. So we need to evaluate dy dx where t is equal to 1. So I'm going to go and I'm going to plug it in, plug it in. It's going to make the whole room smell fresh. Yes, 4 minus 2 times 1. Up here, 1 squared is 1, and then that's going to be 3. Oh, oy. Down here, 4 minus 2, that's um 2. Ooh. So it looks like we're going to have a slope of... Let's make sure everything's all right. 2, 2. It's all all right. It's all all right. Hello, slope. Now that we found the slope, we need to entertain step two of our game plan. We need to find a point. My point is, I'm going to go and I'm going to evaluate both of those functions at t is equal to 1. So step two, when t is equal to 1, we go and we plug that into the x value. x is, um, wait for it, 1 plus 4 times 1 minus 1 squared. And that's 4, 5. 4. So x is 4. All right. Now let's go and let's get y. y is equal to 1 plus 1 to the third. So I heard that y is going to be 2. Oh, so my new point is 4, 2. That's my x value and my y value. Now, I'm back to algebra. <laughs> Where what? You want to use y equals mx plus b or you want to use point slope? Let's use y equals mx plus b. Why not? Over here. Step three. Use point slope for y equals mx plus b. So if I'm putting y equals mx plus b, I want to find my base here because y, I have my y, and I have my slope, and I have my x, and so I'm going to go and I'm going to put those in appropriately. 2 is equal to 3 halves. x is 4. Oh, nice numbers plus that b. Here we see, uh, uh, we reduce by a deuce. So then 2 is equal to 6 plus b, and then b turns out to be a minus 4? Sure. So now that I have that b there, and I have that slope way over there, I can go and I can put it right back up into this. Bam, boom, ready, ready, ready. y equals 3 halves and x plus my b a minus 4. So I guess that's really not a mus. It's a minus 4. We found the equation, the slope of the tangent line. Huh. Hats off to you.